We're just gonna sail to Union Island. Union Island's known for kiteboarding. Let's go uh, check in. My name is Billy, this is Sierra, and our pup Jetty. This is our home. Her name is Adrenaline. We decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us, so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure. Be sure to subscribe below and hop on board. Today we are officially checking out of Grenada the island of Kariku, and we're heading to the Grenadines, Union Island. We're about to go check out, and as soon as we do that, we can actually get some duty-free fuel, which makes it uh, quite a bit cheaper, I think like 25% cheaper or something like that. Just uh, gasoline for the dinghy. And then we're just gonna sail to Union Island. It's only nine miles away, I think, like in a straight line, so, you know, we have to go around this point, so it'll be like 10 mile sail. So we'll be there pretty quick. It's really windy out. Probably gusting 20 knots. I have a feeling it's going to get just a little bit rough in the channel between Kariku and Union Island. But besides that, I think we're going to have a really fast, easy sail to the ne next country, which is only nine miles away. You just jinxed our sail. Do you have anything you're excited about in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Or at Union Island specifically? Um, uh, Union Island, I know you want a kiteboard, but I'm really excited to go check out the Tobago Keys. They're like a protected area of a bunch of little sandy islands and really cool reef. So that's what I'm looking forward to. A Union Island's known for kiteboarding. They have what seems like some cool spots, at least on the charts and maps, from what I can tell, like some really cool flat water spots, hopefully some wave spots that we haven't kiteboarded in so long. like. When was the last time we kiteboarded? Oh, Puerto Rico, I kiteboarded when I lost the GoPro. That was the last time, I gotta redeem myself. We lucked out getting some surf here and that's one of the things we love to do, but kiteboarding is another one and can't wait to get to an awesome spot for it. I bet you on the windward side of this island would be really good for kiteboarding. There's an outer reef, so you can probably get some flat water on the inside and then waves on the outside, but we just didn't get over there with the big boat and it, it would have been a hassle to take all our kite gear with a little boat or anything like that. Before we leave Turtle Bay here, we're gonna do one super quick, small last minute grocery shop. And on the way there, I wanna show you some of the really cool boats here in Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay? Tyrell Bay? or docks that you can dingy to and it's super super easy and they're pretty well stocked we just got back from our last minute grocery shop we really just needed a lighter for the grill and coffee for billy billy's gonna go check out fill up with fuel to get it duty free and then we're ready to go get another stamp on our passport
cooking in here? My grandma's lasagna. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Homemade. So we just pulled up to this one spot. We couldn't quite make the angle to Clifton where we were originally heading. And instead of tacking back and forth, we just decided to pull in here. I don't even know where the, oh, Frigate Island. We're tucked right behind a place called Frigate Island. And it looks like on the map. And I heard from a bunch of people and on our chart, it's a popular kiteboarding spot. Um, but it's not by the school that's up in Clifton, which is good. It'll be a little bit less crowded. It looks like a really nice flat water spot because the wind blows over the mangroves and this little piece of land right here. So the water's really flat on this side and, uh, and just we're in really shallow water. We're actually only anchored in like five, six feet of water. Just looks like a really cool area. Only like five boats in here too. I heard, uh, Clifton's a, a little more crowded than that with boats in the anchorage. So I'm pretty excited to be here. We're not checked in yet, so we can't go to land, but we'll check in first thing tomorrow morning and then do some kiteboarding probably. All right, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when we check in and, and go for a little kite. Have a good night. What you doing? Making cookies. You know it's like 10 a.m., right? <laughs> <It's not. laughs> all right, I gotta go check in all the way up in Clifton and uh, I don't know, I think I can get there by dinghy on the inside of the reef so it's not so rough because if we have to go, if I have to go on the outside of the reef, it's gonna be pretty rough. Yeah, it's like a mile and a half away, so not too bad. And then I think have some fun, maybe get out on the water kiteboarding. Look how many kiteboarders are out right now here. It's really not too bad compared to a lot of places, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, Nine ten. About ten kiteboarders out right now. Probably most from these uh, charter catamarans, kiteboarding charter catamaran. You want to go kiteboarding? Mm -hmm. I get scared when there's a lot of people. All right, let's go uh, check in. Clifton and right there that's the kiteboard center over there some waves a whole kiteboarding area little island this is happy island over here and we're like a mile and a half that way
guys gone for like 25 minutes. Oh 